Wow, welcome Ghost Gang. Today I'm gonna introduce two gaming phone Poco M5 and Poco X4 GT. There are four versions of a POCO. The rating will go up in order of C, M, X, and F. M5 is entry level, and X4 GT is a middle level devices. Let's see about M5 first. The basic model is $142 on POCO online store. CPU octa core up to 2.2 GHz. LPDDR4X RAM 4GB for basic models Supporting expandable storage up to 1TB 6.58 inches Full HD Plus 90Hz screen Brightness 500 nits Resolution 2408 by 1080 Full HD Plus Gorilla Glass It's designed like leather on the back side and it's very light even though the battery is 5000 mAh. USB Type-C cable, 15 megapixel AI triple main camera. The weight is 201 gram. The display quality looks good compared to the price. There is a speaker on the bottom and the sound is loud and clear. There's no noise or breakage. There's also fingerprint sensor on the side of power button. This is a super fast and sensitive in my opinion. You can unlock the phone very smoothly. It seems the performance will be reasonable compared to the price. All right, let's play a game. So let's do the tutorial first and then just checking the video quality. So at this time, I'm gonna try to use the outro and setting the ultras, but uh, I can't set up the ultra as you can see, huh? Seems like this is just a high frame mode. Let you guys know, this is 90 Hz. So far, uh, I can't feel any lagging. If I have to feel lagging, which is the MS guy, the graphic problem, mm, nothing. Uh, what can I say is a pretty amazing to be honest because this phone is a very cheap right but you can play the mobile legend without lagging Victory! you can move the camera well I don't see any something of um, something lagging or graphic breaking okay okay let's keep playing so I can feel the cheating a few moments later slowly slowly hitting 24 percent battery right now so far i don't see any lags good okay let's play one more game Victory! oh i see i see Playing game was fine. It was a little bit, a little bit frame drop there, but I'm just amazed at playing Mobile Legend on this phone because this phone is cheap but working super well. I'm not exaggerating, guys. Just telling you the straight opinion. Okay, I spend also 2% battery for one game uh, with a max. Uh, actually, yeah. 1% or 2% for a 1 game So far, I don't feel any hitting backside, okay? I could feel a little bit frame drop Maybe it was a low battery But if you just want to play the mobile legend Mmm, not bad Yeah, I see the frame drop at this time And then kind of long to wait to leave from the uh, research screen but doesn't matter if you can play mobile legion on phone it's a great price let's see x4 gt this time
The basic model is a $299 of Poco Online Store, CPU Cortex 878, up to 2.85 GHz. Wow! LPDDR5 RAM 8 GB, 6.6 inch, Full HD Plus, 144 Hz screen. Brightness 650 nits. It's very bright. Resolution 2460 by 1080 up to 270 hertz touch sampling rate. And using true color display. The phone is 67 watt turbo charging. I took 35 minutes from 0% to 100% battery. The weight is 1 gram lighter than M5, even though the battery is 5080 mAh. USB Type C. 64 megapixel camera. Make sure this is a gaming phone. The most important thing as a gaming phone is a cooling system. S4 GTS liquid cooling technology. Bluetooth 5.3 and it's supporting Wi-Fi 6. Wow, Wi-Fi 6. If you don't know about Wi-Fi 6, search on Google. There are speakers on the top and bottom. Hmm, what I realized is this phone has everything. Cooling, stable Wi-Fi network, 8GB DDR5 RAM, and 144Hz display. I'm excited to play the game now. Let's go. All right, let's see the graphic setting. That's the important thing, right? Oh, uh, outline on. I just try to set the basic thing, but the, wow, look at this. Have you guys seen the refresh rate ultra? The graphic is also ultra. And then the phone battery is 100 right now. So I'll try to make the brightness very uh, maximum brightness. Oh, shit. Very, very uh, clear. I never play on the ultra mode. So excited to play right now. I wish I can show everything through the video. You guys can't see that much because YouTube only provide the 60 frames. For 144 hertz is super, super smooth. I'm not being toxic, guys. I'm not being toxic. It's so smooth. You need to think about it. Spamming, recall effects are important nowadays. I punch his face. You need to promote. <laughs> I can feel a little worm on backside, so I'm gonna try to play several games, guys. So I spend a two percent to play a one game. To be honest. I can feel a little bit hitting. It's a warm. Because everything is a maximum, guys. Wow. Turbo. Oh, you can actually boost it. Wow, crazy. If I change to the performance, it's up to the 121 frames. Wow. You can screen record. Clear memories. You can boost it. Now I'm boosting right now. You can use a voice changer. Wow. Wow, girl, woman, you can catfishing with this phone. Make sure that if you want to catfishing on Mobile Legend, use this phone, Poco X4 GT. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Ghost time. I played several games on M5 and I couldn't feel any lagging while playing the game. But there was only a little lagging. I moved on to the game research screen and to the lobby. Oh, I see, I see. I also played several games on X for GT. It was amazing for me. I had never seen ultra rate mode. The display was bright and colorful. I can't believe this quality with this price. X4 GT is optimized well for playing games. Playing mobile legends. It was an excellent time to review those gaming funds. Performance was reasonable compared to the price. Power Poco M5 and X4 GT. Two more! Get the rock! Don't cry!